Hello, today we're going to be building and installing the R package template that comes with RStudio. This is part of a few short videos I'm going to be making for my students on how to build R packages. So let's get started. We're going to head over to RStudio. I got it open up over here. And here we have uh, an RStudio with no project open. You can tell that by looking at the top right hand corner here. It says project none. So the steps to make an R package are make a new project, choose the R package template, give it a name, and then press build and install. It, it all happens pretty quickly. So let's do all those steps. I'm going to click new project right here. And I'm going to choose new directory. We have to say where we're going to install this thing. Oh, sorry, we have to say where on our computer we're going to make a folder with the files necessary to build and install an R package. All right, we have a few options here. I'm going to choose the R package option. And the first thing we need to do is give our new R package a name. So I've thought about this and I'm going to call mine laser. There's a few other options here. In our class, we're going to be putting our R package up on GitHub. So you might choose create a Git repository. I'm going to cancel that for now. And I'm simply going to press create project. So what do we get here? A few things happen. One in the top left corner. We have uh, the editor pane has been loading the hello.r file. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. This file is located in the R folder. If we look a little bit closer here, we can see that I created a new folder on my desktop called laser. And inside of this folder, these are all the files for the R package template. So uh, I think we should take a look at these files just really quickly. First of all, inside of the R folder, this is the location where you can put any .r files. And for example, we have hello.r. Nothing happens if you click on this because it's already open right here. All this file is, is a text file uh, with the extension .r. All of this stuff is comments. So the main thing that's in this text file is a function using the R syntax to define a function. This one creates the hello function. And we can sort of see that if we were to compile and execute this function, what it would do is print hello world to the console. There's some really helpful tips in this text file. We'll talk about those in a moment. You could read them in the comments. So for example, head over to this website, which we'll do at the end of the video, if you want to learn all the details about author authoring packages. All right, so we have uh, the laser folder. We already looked inside the R folder. Let's look inside the man folder. I believe this is short for manual. And this is where we put the documentation for the R functions. So there's a documentation file. We won't spend too much time on this. Um, but briefly, when you compile an R function in an R package, you also create a directory uh, or manual for your R package, and you're allowed to provide documentation for each function to tell other people how it works. What else do we have in here? We've got a description file, and this is another plain text file with metadata for your R package. So you can give the name here, say what it does, and a few other things. We're not going to go into those details right now. So this R package template is a kind of a minimal example of all the things you need in order to build an R package. So let's go ahead and build that R package and talk about uh, the consequences of doing so. To illustrate the consequences, the first thing I'm going to do is type hello into the console. 
just like this. If I had uh, loaded an R package that contained the hello function, this should work. So I'm going to press return and notice I get an error. Error in hello could not find function hello. So that means that I don't have an R package loaded that currently contains the hello function. I gave the name of my folder laser and I want to make an R package called laser that has this function. I'm just going to show you all that if we take a look at the list of packages that I currently have here, I'm going to quickly scroll down to L. All right, here's where L would be. I JKL, whoops, right here. So there's no laser uh, going on and that's good because I'm going to install a package called laser and there isn't a pre-existing one there already. So how do we do that? All these files are ready to go. What we have to do is go to the top right hand corner. I'm just going to stretch it over a bit so we can see all the different tabs here. So we've got environment history, connections, build, tutorial. If your files in your R folder have all the right ingredients for making an R package, RStudio will recognize that the folder contains those files and it will uh, put a build tab right up here. So if you see the build tab, that's a good sign. And all you have to do is click install and restart. So I'm going to do that and talk about what's happening. When I click install and restart, the uh, R package is compiled into my existing version of R. It also restarts my version of R. So you can see that right here, it says restarting R session. And we also automatically get a call to load the new package that we made. Briefly, this means that I should have installed the laser package. The laser package has now been loaded and the function inside the laser package, which was the hello example function should now be ready to go. So if I type hello and oh, look at auto completes and you can even see that there's a hello function inside the laser package. So let's run it, see if it works. All right, it's working. We can also confirm that we installed the laser package by going to say, let's type in laser here. Yeah, we can see that it's been loaded, it's clicked on. All right, so this has been, uh, let me see, how to build and install the R package template with RStudio. Um, and uh, next we're going to talk about adding a custom function to your R package, and we'll do that in a separate video. So see you over there.